Hello and welcome, this is Cryptos Chain with a new episode of Simple Cryptocurrency Demos. In this demo I'll be presenting the new feature within the O3 desktop wallet called Staketology, which enables you to stake your ontology coins to one of the seven nodes provided by ontology. Now before we do that I just want to explain what the O3 desktop wallet is all about. So with the O3 desktop wallet enables you to store any NEO blockchain and ontology blockchain tokens on it, right? So you can send, you can receive any kind of NEO or ontology tokens. Of course there are not that many ontology tokens available at the moment but when there will be you will be able to store them and use the O3 wallet to send and receive. Okay, same for NEO. Okay, so you can currently store any NEO, gas, or any P5 tokens on the O3 wallet. So let's get right in and show you how it actually works. So the first thing you do after you log into the wallet, you'll have to go to the apps section on the left hand side. Then here you'll see all the different apps that are available, including the Switcho decentralized exchange, the soon to be released O3 Fiat Gateway which will enable you to buy NEO with your credit card. Okay, that's coming soon. Hopefully Ontology too. And here is Staketology, right? The Ontology Staking app, which has just recently been released. So if we click on that, it will take you to a pop-up screen here, asking you to log in. Okay, so you can select your wallet. And you've also got this little radio box here asking you to take it if you want to auto-sign transactions. Okay, so... It does actually warn you here saying that please be aware that this uh, using this feature will allow the app um, that you are connecting with to automatically sign transactions on your behalf without notifying you. We highly recommend against using this option unless absolutely necessary. Select the below networks which you would like to enable auto signing. So you can select mainnet, testnet, private net, etc. But again, it's not recommended because you should see what you are signing. So I'm going to disable this. I'm going to click accept and it's going to take me to the staking area. So here we can see the stake nodes. Now I don't have any at the moment and it even tells me I don't have any ONT stake because this is a test wallet which I'm using for this specific demo. But if I had any ontology coins, it would actually show me how many I've got, right? It will show me here on the left hand side as well. Um, and, and all that right so you can see on the top right hand corner it tells me zero ONT available okay um, and yeah the total stake is zero ONT so once you stake the information is going to go here so you'll be able to see your ontology coins I'm going to go through that in a moment but let's talk about the consensus nodes so I've actually done a demo on the O wallet which is ontology's official wallet on this specific feature but of course I want to cover the O3 wallet which should be pretty much similar just a different graphical user interface. So if we go to view all consensus nodes here we can see the seven consensus nodes by ontology. These are all owned by ontology. Okay the ones which have 100% next to them the rewards right and here we can see how many ontology coins are currently staked to these nodes. Now if we click on one of these nodes, for example Megres, which is number 7, it tells you that 24.55% has been staked. If we go back and go to Dobe, we can see that 27.55% has been staked, which means that you will get less rewards from the Ontology Foundation if you stake to Dobe, for example, because more people staked, therefore the rewards are being shared, right? So 7.1 million ONT coins have been staked, so of course the rewards that the Ontology Foundation pays out gets divided by these 7.1 million tokens. So uh, your intention is to stake on one of the nodes which has less coins. Of course you're never going to be 100% sure as these can fluctuate quite a lot but we know that Dube has been pretty high most of the time because the people that have staked there for a while they don't want to unstake and I'll explain why as well in a moment. So let's say for example you want to choose Megres, you click on that. Now this is grayed out because like I said I don't have any ONT available but if we select it we can see what it says. So here you'll be able to see the actively staked ONT coins in the current round and generating rewards. So I've got zero. You've got the pending deposit waiting to be staked at the start of the next round and you've got the pending withdrawal. Now, once you stake, so for example, you need you need to have, right, you do need to have, this as a requirement, 500 ONT coins as a minimum to be able to stake to one of these seven nodes. Now, once you have 500 ONT coins and you do stake 
And once you click that little button there on the top right hand corner to stake to the specific node, then your 500 ONT are going to show up here under pending deposit, okay? Because you've sent them to the smart contract to the node, right? But they haven't been uh, confirmed yet, okay? So they have. You need to wait an entire round before they are confirmed, okay? This means that you're not going to get any rewards until they are active. So the 500 ONT need to be active, and you need to wait an entire round for that. So for example, say we're in round 10 at the moment. Uh, of course, because we're in round 10, you need to wait till round 11 before the ONT becomes active, right? So then it's going to show up on the top right hand side here where I've got my mouse cursor. Of course, if you decide to withdraw, okay, you can do so. But once you withdraw, okay, any actively staked ontology coins, they will be locked until the end of the current round but you will still continue to generate rewards until then, right? So do keep that in mind that you need to wait an entire round. I don't know if they've changed it recently. It used to be two entire rounds. It may still be two entire rounds. Maybe they made a mistake here. I do need to check that out and I'll probably update it in the comment section below. But as far as I'm aware, it, it was actually two entire rounds that you had to wait, not one, when you wanted to withdraw from an active stake, okay? So just to get that clear, when you first stake, it goes into pending deposit until the next round starts. When the next round starts, they move to the active section. Okay, this is very, very clear. You need to make sure you understand it. Okay, then of course, if you, uh, if you don't have anything which is staked, it's withdrawable, so you can withdraw it to your wallet and it would show up under this section here. And of course, you can select, you can click the button, which we can't really see here to withdraw it. So let's go back and let's go to my stakes again. So yeah, this is where I wanted to talk to you about. So on this section, of course, if you've already got the stake, it would tell you the stake rewards, which are in ONG, and it would take you the unclaimed ONG as well, right? So this is where you can actually see how much ONG you can claim from the node. Now keep in mind, keep in mind because many people are confused by this, right? There are three different types of rewards when you stake to a node, right? So the first reward is the ontology gas, the ONG that you generate just for holding ontology coins in your wallet, okay? So even if you don't stake, you generate ONG, right? This will continue to be generated even if you stake to a node. The second way of receiving rewards is from the node transactions. So any transactions that have been generated, the node shares them with all the stakers. Now it's a very, very small amount compared to how much you get just by holding the ontology coins in your wallet, okay? But it doesn't matter because these are extra rewards. So it doesn't matter if they're smaller or less, right? They're still rewards. This is an extra bonus. This is something extra that you receive for staking. And finally, the biggest reward, which makes it really worth staking, in my opinion, is the bonus you receive from the Ontology Foundation, which is more or less about eight times the amount of ONG that you get just for holding Ontology coins in your wallet. So if you're a long-term holder, it makes sense to stake on the node just because of the huge difference in the rewards that you generate, right? You're going to generate eight times more ONG per month. Now, these rewards, they get paid out directly to your wallet from the Ontology Foundation, so you don't need to claim anything. The only thing you claim is the, trans the rewards from the node, okay? So whatever the node gives you, you need to claim, okay? You don't need to claim. You can wait it out. You can claim whenever you want, but you have the option to claim. However, the Ontology Foundation sends you the rewards once a month directly to your wallet, okay? So there's nothing to claim. You'll just receive the ONG as available in your wallet, ready to trade. You can simply sell it if you wish. You can do what you want with it, but it's available in your wallet. So that's the difference. Just make sure you're very clear on that. Cool. Now, the other thing I wanted to explain is about the actual rounds. So for example, let's say we're in round 10 at the moment, okay, and today is the 22nd of January. So let's say that this round doesn't end until the 2nd of February, okay? So anybody who staked, okay, let me go back here again. 
anybody who currently staked in this round, right, in round 10, which is not due to end until the beginning of February, is not going to qualify for the February reward, okay? Sorry, for the January reward, okay? Why is that? It's simple. It's because your deposit is going to be in the pending state, okay? So you haven't actually active activated your stake, okay? Your stake is in, in, in the pending status, as I explained earlier, because you staked in the current round, which is active, right? You need to, to be staking, you need to have a pending deposit before a new round begins so that the, 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 the stake can become active, okay? And say, for example, you would have staked, you would have had a pending deposit in round 9, okay? And we know that round 10 will end in February, right? This is just an example, right? We're not in round 10 at the moment, I'm just giving you an example. Now, so let's say you staked in round 9, you had the pending deposit in round 9, round 10 started, round 10 is going to end in February and you already have the funds set to active, right? Because your stake is now active because you staked in round nine when it was when it was running, and because you had you had waited in the queue pretty much, right? For for round ten to start, your stake became active in round ten. Okay, so once it's active, when the stake actually ends, when the period ends, right? That means you qualify, right? Because you have been staking, you have been staking for that round, right? Now, let me explain. So, you qualify, right? You're going to get um, rewards from the node, but you're not going to get rewards from the Ontology Foundation. Now, the Ontology Foundation requires you to have staked for an entire calendar month, right? And to make sure that, obviously, you have an active stake when the last round of the month ends. So, for example, let's say that round 8, which was to go back even further, was sometimes in December, right? End of December, let's say. So if you stake in round eight, and round eight doesn't end until, let's say, 29th of December, so it's still within the month, right? You would have an active stake when the next round begins, which would be 29th of December, okay? Because you have round nine beginning then. And that means that for the whole month of January, your stake is active, right? Your stake is in since round nine as an active stake. So when stake when round 10 ends in February, you would qualify for the Ontology Foundation bonus, right? It's simple to understand. You just have to think of it as, okay, I need to stake for one calendar month and I need to make sure that my stake has been active for that one calendar month until the round ends in the following month, right? So the Ontology Foundation bonus only goes in when the last round completed, and that could be any time at the beginning of the following month. So for example, in our case, February, right? So any point in February, right? So we may have round 10 ending on the 2nd of February, on the 1st of February, on the 10th of February, if it doesn't end till the 10th of February, the Ontology Foundation are not going to reward you until that round ends. So whenever that round ends, at any point in the month, right, because it's a new month, then they consider it staking for the previous month, right? So it will be considered staking for January because the round which ended in February actually started in January. Okay, so I hope I'm being clear enough, right? Round 10 started in January, but it ended in February. However, because it started in January, the Ontology Foundation will reward you for the whole month of January, right? So you will get the rewards, which are more or less eight times, like I said, the amount of ONG you would normally get if you were to keep the Ontology coins in your wallet. So yes, that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. I hope I was clear. If I was not very clear, I do suggest you leave a comment below, ask me any questions which are not clear enough for you. Um, but yes, this is pretty much how it works. So it's exactly the same as the O wallet, which I did a demo on before. Okay, it's exactly the same in this. It's just a different graphical user interface. I think it looks cooler. It looks nicer, cutting edge. So yes, of course you can access your staked uh, 
coins and your staked information in the O3 desktop wallet, right? Because it's still part of your wallet. As long as you log in with your private key or with your ledger or whatever device hardware wallet you're using, then you should be able to access your staking information here as well as in the O wallet, which is the official wallet from Ontology. Cool, that's all I wanted to cover. I hope you enjoyed the demo. If you do enjoy it, please hit the like. I really appreciate it. Like I said, don't forget to leave a comment below if you have any sort of question or doubt, or I don't know, if you simply want to say thank you or something, leave a comment below. I would appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. That would be really good. And you could follow up on any demos that I do in the future, as well as cryptocurrency news, cryptocurrency reviews, and podcasts. Well, thank you very, very much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next video. Have a lovely day. Goodbye.